Hi everyone, I'm Liz Bishop. Greg has a night off. Heavy rains led to some serious flooding throughout the capital region and beyond today. In Brunswick, the floodwaters caused a major headache for about 150 residents in a mobile home park when the only road leading to their homes washed away. Craig Smith joins us live now from Brunswick. Where do things stand tonight? Craig, are they in any better shape than they were earlier? Yeah, they are, Liz. Uh, they are getting closer here with this repair. It's been a long day for people who live in the Terrace Haven neighborhood, but it looks like they're getting a little bit closer to the end. That's part of the fix right there, a culvert to divert the stream away from where workers need to replace the culvert that got washed out. One couple was out of town when the road fell apart around 10 this morning. We were out babysitting our twin grandbabies, and Dave came home to check on the dog, and he called me and said we couldn't get through because the road was gone. They figured by the time they got home at 6, it would be back, and that was the fire chief's estimate. But 6.30 turned into 7.30, and then they added two more hours. One big concern was the well-being of those stranded in their homes. If there were a big emergency, they could get somebody out. Yeah, here. Rensselaer County's here, 911 coordinator. It'd be very difficult to get them across. They'd have to do it with ladders and everything. I'm trying not to think about this. About 150 people live in the neighborhood, many of them elderly. About 20 school children were taken to the fire station after school where parents picked them up. This woman was separated from a couple of important things. I just came back uh, to, to see if I could get in. I have an animal in there you know, and medication as well. The culvert that was overrun was a three-footer. The new one is bigger, but laying it down would take time. Well, Wednesdays are regular day to babysit the twins, so that's where we go. So you got a little extra time in with them. Yes, huh? we did. <laughs> and maybe tonight, too. You never know. <laughs> Well, that is true. Each time we check with a time estimate, it does seem to be extended. There's a fairly good sized tree across the stream, not far from where the roadway used to be. And some of the firefighters were telling me some neighbors were begging to be allowed to walk across on that. Of course, that wasn't allowed. It's too dangerous with the water, even as low as it is now compared to earlier today. Still, that would be a dangerous trek. They'll have to wait till they get it done the right way here in Brunswick. Reporting live, Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.